What is going on everyone? Welcome back guys to our Let's Play Ghost Recall Wildlands. This is episode number 27 and in today's video guys I'm recording here Tuesday the 14th of April and yeah guys in today's episode I'm pretty much picking off from the last episode and we're kind of searching for the chemist here. This is where this is kind of a continuation of El Gato's mission in the game so whenever you get to El, Cot El Gato's actual section which I think Elgato means, I'm not sure if it means the cat, or, I'm, I'm not sure, if all my Spanish speaking friends in the comments down below, just let me know what that means, because I, I actually forget from my high school Spanish class, so, <laughs> but anyways guys, yeah, so we're gonna continue today, hopefully make some more progress, actually this session was recorded yesterday, which was the 13th, so yesterday I recorded pretty much two hours of gameplay footage, so I still have two more episodes to upload and edit. And going upon my new my new style for recording these episodes just to get the game completed in time is I'm going to be recording a bunch of the game off camera and I'm going to edit these episodes because I think it makes for more entertaining videos because, I don't know, there's a lot of downtime when you're driving around in this game and stuff, especially flying around from mission to mission, and I just kind of want to cut that out entirely. So, uh, yeah, it's just something I'm going to start doing in this series. But anyways, guys, now we got the uh, the chemist. I was about to call him the alchemist <laughs> from Spyro the Dragon. By the way, guys, speaking of Spyro the Dragon, I will be uploading some more episodes tomorrow of that game, probably two more episodes. <clears throat> so... Yeah, stay tuned for that. I will be finishing Spyro 3 relatively shortly, and then we'll be entirely completed with the trilogy. But anyways, guys, now that we got the, the chemist, we're going to take him back to the safe house, and I believe that's going to conclude this mission. So all we had to do was get this chemist, and he's going to provide us with some really valuable information pertaining to El Gato. I think he was one of the cooks for him, because... <clears throat> Elgato was uh, production for the cartel. <clears throat> oh my god, guys. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> Hopefully it's not coronavirus. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. And this is going to be our next little mission that we're going to head to. We're going to take one of these roads. I forget which... Yeah, this is right by the outpost. It gives you uh, the direction on the map here if you want to... I think I pull up my map later on. Oh, by the way, guys... I forgot about this. I saw one of these cars here. These are one of the Intel cars that's patrolling the landscape. Whenever you see these guys, it's I definitely recommend you chase them down because this is actually how I <clears throat> get all of the weapons and skill point locations, I think. Uh, so all you have to do is just interrogate them. And then you'll be able to do the choose between locate supply raids, skill points, or rebel ops. And I think I, yeah, I do skill points here. <clears throat> and throughout this episode, you will see, I will get a few new weapons, actually. I'll show you those later on. And I'll also show one of the skill point locations, if not two of them, in this episode. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, with my new style of recording these videos, I'm able to just throw together these episodes really quickly and edit them so that way you guys can focus in on all the action from the game. And this game, guys, is it's fantastic, I have to say. It's one of the best Tom Clancy Ghost Recon style games I've ever played because it's just open world and the customization options are endless and they're just awesome, I think. The weapons are really well balanced. There's a really large variety of weapons and just overall it's a great game, guys. So after that little segment there, I'm going to show you this is where the story mission is located on the map that we are going to head to next and all we have to do is run towards this little location this is kinda like a factory what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna use the drone here to kinda patrol see where the enemies are laying <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go in here with my silencer and snipe them and take them out and for a lot of the, these missions with Elgato I don't know you really don't need to be silent like in previous missions that I've did, actually just like episode 26 uh, with El Pulpo, yeah, there was a few missions that you had to be really silent, use silenced weapons and stuff, and stealth tactics. So for this mission though, you really don't have to. I just chose to 
just because I like to be a little stealthy sometimes, but I know that always fails because I end up triggering one of the enemies. For some reason in this game, I always, it ends up I always trigger an enemy, enemy by just getting in their line of sight or something. Getting a little bit too close, I don't know. <clears throat> I've never been really good at stealth games. I've always been just kind of like a run and gunner, but I guess it works in this game because you're able to pull that off compared to previous Tom Clancy games. So yeah, guys, we're going to enter this building and all we have to destroy, or not destroy, we have to uh, take out these, I think they're chemists or something. Uh, so there's three of them. I think they're in this next building over here and they're working for the cartel, of course, so we just have to take care of them. And a lot of these missions are focused around chemistry, you'll notice, in production. Like, in one of these missions I will be showing you in a few minutes, we will have to take down, like, a assembly line in a quinoa factory. Which, that's actually something I, I never tried before, was quinoa. I, I know it's like some sort of whole grain or something, but I guess it's good. Here we go, let's fly our drone around here. We're gonna kind of scope out... And I, I do believe I used the sink shot. I don't know. Oh no, that was the last episode that I used the synchronized shot. That is something that's really useful, guys. If you haven't played this game in a while and you're just jumping back into it like I am, the sink shot is really great for these missions. <clears throat> because especially if you're doing like uh, some sort of distance where there's enemies around you and you have to be really quiet... You could just lock onto those enemies and then take out one of them. And your squad mates, if they're in a good spot, they'll they'll shoot them really quickly. So it's nice to use in stealth missions. All right. <clears throat> so I took care of all those enemies. And now we're going to go and kill these uh, scientists in here. Yep, there they are. Not scientists. They're working for the cartel. They're like drug chefs, I guess. All right, mission complete, Romanzo. And now is where I'm going to locate some of the weapons, guys. So we got a few new weapons, I think four. And this is the one weapon that's really good. This is, I actually picked this up in this next clip here. And the Type 93, that's another one. That's an LMG that I really want to get. I, for some reason, when I was doing this session, I kind of skipped over it. So I'm going to have to go back and pick that up later on. But um, anyways guys, now we're going to head to the first weapon. I believe this is a fully automatic submachine gun. Uh, it's very accurate, and I was surprised. I ended up switching to it. I forget what it's called. I have to take a look at the screen here. <clears throat> but um, you'll notice these episodes are a lot shorter as well. Because when I'm able to put these clips together, I could focus in on all the action and kind of skip over all the BS like I mentioned before. Uh, by the way, guys, if you haven't checked out my Nostalgia Gaming series... Oh, wait, let's see. Yeah, what is this weapon called? I can't see. Crap. I forget the name of it, but you can see on the screen and pause it back there. Um, I highly recommend it if you have it with a suppressor. That's really great for the stealth missions. So, yeah, guys, other than that, uh, this gameplay is almost coming to an end. We only have a few more minutes here. Ooh, crap. One thing, guys, that I'm going to have to fix is my laptop screen for my Asus laptop has completely busted off. And, I don't know, it's been broken for about probably two months now. And whenever, I don't know, it's literally about to come apart. And I've been waiting on parts for trying to fix it for a long time. And ever since this virus has happened, these parts have been getting delayed and stuff. So... I'm going to end up just taking it to probably a local, uh, what's it called, a, a local place around here, like a cyber PC place that could just fix it really quickly, hopefully they're still in operation, but yeah guys. Uh, this little segment here, this is one of the skill points that I mentioned earlier, it's on top of this rooftop here, I was just kind of browsing around, and eventually I do upgrade some of my skills, I think I focus in on the one squad base skill that improves your team members effectiveness when killing enemies so yeah I highly recommend improving the squad tree first if you can do that so yeah we're just gonna what I did here was I stole one of the helicopters and I wanted to fly it a little bit higher in altitude that way I could get a better vantage point from one of these rooftops here 
and take out the enemies here. You really don't have to be quiet, like I said. Um, but I just wanted to land on this rooftop. Eventually, I will go in, guns blazing, and it ends up failing a little bit. <laughs> I end up taking a lot of damage here, but I land on this rooftop. It's really cool. I love how you're able to use the the parachute here. Oh, crap. I forgot about this. Yeah, I land on this little tank here. <laughs> this was actually pretty cool. I thought this was a nice vantage point, but then I remembered that this mission's not stealth-based, so I kind of wanted to walk along this pipe here. <laughs> this is kind of like some Ghost Recon parkour. I should do a special episode. Oh, by the way, guys, later on in the video, you will see a glitch. Actually, the beginning of a glitch that I cut out. When I was driving one of the vehicles, I kind of pulled up to the side of one building and as I got out I entered inside of the building and I wasn't able to escape like the animation itself of the building so that was just a weird little glitch also I was experiencing some weird glitches when I was uh, flying into the mountains so I, I kind of like fell through the mountain itself and was like stuck in the endless void of the game so that there's a few drawbacks to this game there's a lot of glitches I, I have to say for the the size of the world but they did a really great job that's just one drawback of this game is some minor glitches but um probably because I haven't updated it in a long time <laughs> but anyways guys we're gonna go here this is where I epically failed I threw one of these grenades and then I jumped off the building here but we're gonna take out these enemies and I'm just gonna go in Rambo style I know this is not how you're supposed to play the game <laughs> especially some of these missions but this one's not really required to be stealth based. Oh, here we go. Yeah, and another thing, you're going to have to watch out if you're playing this mission. Because going inside of this building, I was getting lit up from all the different angles from the enemy. So, that's one thing to consider. Is that this building is definitely <clears throat> not bulletproof. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we destroyed two out of three of the tanks. And the drug production tanks and I think we're yeah we have to go cut over to the next section here oh crap I forgot about that guys I killed a civilian <laughs> that's one thing you don't want to do if you kill two or three of them I think your mission automatically fails and you have to restart so you definitely don't want to do that okay so there's we killed the last enemy here now we're just gonna have to go up one more level and blow up this tank. I'm just gonna shoot it because I was out of grenades. Okay, so there's the mission complete. It was a simple destruction mission. And you'll notice this game features a lot of missions similar to this, but it's kinda cool. We got our level 18 as our skill rank now, so that's great. Making some progress, guys. I forget the level cap in this game. It's probably like 100 or something. <laughs> I haven't even scratched the surface on all the items you're able to collect. But I am going to go, I while I'm on this mission, I'm going to travel up here because it looks like there's, oh, we got a new mission popped up as well. Let's go pick this up. It's a story mission. By the way, in the next episode, we will be completing a lot of story missions, so that's another great thing. And the story missions are really challenging compared to the, just these side missions and stuff for the cartel members. Okay, yeah, this is where I started to experience that glitch, guys. You'll see. Okay. Yeah, this is where we have to uh, take out Elgato's uh, double, basically. He's his stunt double. And I, as I was backing up and exiting this vehicle, you'll see I transported inside of the vi the building. So I just cut the, the video here. I, I ended up restarting the mission, which was really strange. So let me know if you experienced that, guys, down in the comments below. Um, but anyways, this mission, or this level, actually is coming to an end, and with that, the episode is con coming to a conclusion. So, stay tuned for more content coming soon throughout the week, guys. I will have more Ghost Recon, as well as Spyro 3, and Nostalgic Gaming series. So, thank you so much for watching this episode, and have a great day, guys.